The Kalenjin are a native speaking group estimated to be around 4.9 million according to Kenyan 2009 census. They are divided into the Kipsigis, Nandi, Keio, Marakwit, Sabot, Pokot, Tugen, Terik, and Ogiek or Dorobo. The Tugen are the smallest populated subtribe with 350,000 people. They are believed to have originated from Egypt and crossed to Sudan, settling the eastern part of the Nile Basin. They later proceeded to Kenya, settling in the Great Rift Valley. The journey to the Tugen land is a long drive. Rumba was the only soothing music that kept us energized. Six hours on road through the terrains, towering hills, rocky roads, and thick canopies painted a beautiful eye shot of the Great Rift Valley. At the seventh hour, we finally reached Kabasen village, Kapropita Ward. Though exhausted to the core, but armed to the teeth, ready for the assignment. Julia Kanai had delivered a lovely baby girl four days ago, and it will be her first day to see the striking fierce rays of the sun. Celebrations are underway, from the elderly to the young mothers as they move their hips to the rhythm and the tune of the songs to welcome a lovely baby girl delivered by Julia Kanai four days earlier. It will be her first day to see the striking fierce rays of the sun. It is time for Gogo Lakwa, or midwife, to discharge her calling. <laughs> giving the innocent angel an identity. <laughs> Gogo recites all the ancestral names she can recall until the baby stops crying. <laughs> this is a sign the baby is now receptive to the ancestral spirit. <laughs> Kutut, a special ugali made of millet flour, is being prepared. <laughs> Minutes later, served to the chosen few. <laughs> the meal is now a symbol of unity as Chabet now joins her peers where she'll be integrated into a complete woman. <laughs> After delivery, Legatye, a special leather belt is tied around Kanai's belly, which she'll have for the next two years, and her hair will remain unshaved until Gogo will be called in for another cleansing session. <laughs> Legatier remains an important birth control method in Tugen culture. Once tied, the husband has no right to demand for conjugal rights until the baby attains two years. There are four special belts worn by Tugen women. middle Korongoro, Nasawe, Nachuma, and the Leuko, one of our inn. As I find me in the Funga in Tapani at Tia, see what Mama Watani, Watani, Pika, Nini, fine. And what Anitosha finds Abu, Stefika, you Madaraka. As the celebration hits the climax, John Kagongo, 
Kanai's husband is absent from it all. He is forbidden from getting into his own house until four days after delivery are over. Mama kitifungua tu leo. Mse yaka wesi ingia yu nyumba mwana ume yote. For three to four days. Mbaka wa midwives wakuje, waoshe mama, watoe enje. Yu ni that's after four days. Watoe enje. Dansi kuyo yu mse ya nyu nyumba anaenda lakini anapikia tu. And if he breaks the tradition, I have to find a way to him. In Tugen culture, an expectant mother is compelled to abide to strict laws. She is forbidden from attending any funeral, even if it's her parent or blood relative during this sacred period. Na wale walikuwa na, na slota ama walikuwa na chinja, waze ama wanaume wenye wanajua. Hii nyama ni safe for expectant mother. Wataki kukula nyama yenye iko na swollen clans. Wanaangalia saile wanachinja kama clans iko sawa ama imekuwa swollen. Mama mchamusita awesi kula. Awesi akalala hiki, kulalia mkongo. Nasuma alalia ubande moja. Alafu akiamuka kupenduka, awesi penduka just kwa kiwa kwa kitanda, anamuka kwanza anaketi, anachipeleka bolobole bandi hii. Hili, mtota si chifunge na umbilical coat. As the momentum of the celebration fades away, Gogo is now tasked to nurture the young Chebet as she grows up in the midst of an unpredictable world. Unlike other communities where a newborn is named based on circumstance of birth or season, in Tugen land, clans and people take after wild animals' names. Ringoi refers to snake family, Sokwei beef family, Kongato monkey family, Sanyak monkeys, Tungo hyena, Carbon baboon, Talai frog, Kobilo porcupine, Kimoi buffalo, Tagok scorpion, and Terik elephant. It is considered a taboo to harm such animals. Watu wote wali keti wakizema basi. Sasa kama tunataka tukuze jami nzuri, lazima kila moja wao wachakue mnyama. Na kuna wenye wanilichakua kama lion, uh, kuna wenye walichakuwa elevan na baada ya kila mnyama ikitakuliwa kila mtu alikuwa na chakuo lake ya kuchakua the names remain significant when it comes to marriage dingoi or snake family can never intermarry as well as kongato and sanyak monk family can never cohabit as it is termed as incest relationship but Kobilo, a porcupine family, and Talai, a frog family, can freely interbreed. Kama mtu anato, anajitambua kama baboon, mimi ni mmoja wao. Mimi ni baboon, nijitambua kama hivo kwa, kwa wakatu wa kuoa. Nina kubaliwa nioe kwa mnyama mwingine siyo ati nioe kwa baboon mwenye. Lakini kuna baboons wenye tunaweza kuoana pamoja. Lakini inatakemea ni gani. As Chebet enters his new age, she is grateful that she won't undergo the traditional female circumcision, as it is against Kenyan constitution. Her brothers, however, will have to face the Muterenik or the circumciser when the time comes. The Tugen are clustered into eight age sets, also known as Imbindo in the Tugen dialect. The age sets are ranked based on age. Chumo, Sawe, Korongoro, Kip Koimet, Kaple Lach, Kip Nige, Nyongi, and finally Maina. Maina now remains in the history books. Legends has it that members of this age set were wiped out by the Keio because of fear of a recurrence. <laughs> kutoka sehemu hii ya Baringo. Wasee wetu walienda fita au warani walienda fita, fita yani warriors. Wakaelekea sehemu ya sehemu ya naitwa nini? 
e, sehemu ya Nakuru kule. E, kuna mahali naitwa Mbaruka. E, Barut kule Nakuru. Walipofika huko vita ikaanza. Na walikuwa kipikana na watu wa Masai na kabila singina. So wengi wakawawa na wachache wakarudi. Sasa kurudi nyumbani wasee wakaamua hii hii generation china la maina aina 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 baraka ndio sasa waka waka wakatubilia hiyo china mbali na wale walipaki wakawa assimilated kwa rika singine wale walikuwa padu wako huko na wengine pia kulikuwa na ukonjwa ukonjwa pia ikaingia ikamaliza watu wengi na hata watu maina wakawa eh, victims ya hiyo ukonjwa Tugel do not consider women to have age set. Hence, they can marry any age set except that in which her father belongs. As dust settles in Kabasen village, in the neighboring Kapso village, the resounding drum beats fills the air. The season has come where boys are called men. As you drive in to catch the glimpse of the ceremony, the elders have to pronounce blessings upon us. It's a good welcoming that you have joined with the community and the song means the blessings to all the visitors that have arrived. We are dancing to the tune and the rhythm that means the Tugen are so welcoming and friendly. Masai. 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 The thick canopies of Mugoin forest rich in indigenous trees running into hundreds of years in age, stands symbolic in Tugen land. The forest offers a sacred place where vows to conceal the secrets of Tugen are taken. Joshua Kiprop leads his team of council of elders tasked to perform the circumcision ceremony. Unlike other communities where boys as young as 12 years undergo the cultural shed of foreskin, in Tugen land, only those who have attained 20 years and above are allowed to undergo the holy cut. For it is more than just circumcision. Wakati walipu, wakiwa hapa, hile mafunso wanapatiwa. Nambari ya kwanza ni chinsi ya kutairisha yeye. Awe warrior. Eh? Awe warrior katika chami. Na yeye pia achenge, ajichenge. Character building. Eh? Hili wakati ataka botoka, achulikane kweli kuna mapatiliko sio kama wakati ali 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 aliingia hiyo kazi alafu ya pili ni kutunza kufunza yeye kinsi ya kutunza familia yake kwa sababu akitoka hapa anaenda olewa tayari kuna msichana anangocha yeye alafu wana anapeleka kwake sasa anafunza kinsi ataenda handle familia yake kutunza kufanya nini na kuendelesha chami yake alafu ya pili Eh, ni kwamba anafunzwa chinsi ya kutafuta chakula kwa chami yake na, na chami kwa chumla katika sehemu anakotoka. Alafu neno lingine au kasi singine anapatiwa ni mambo ya chinsi kama kuna fita. Tuseme sasa kama, kama chami ingine ninafahamia hawa wana, wanafunzwa na wanakaa kama askari. Before the Mutaranik embark on the exercise, the Kip Klelin are compelled to reveal all the dirty works of their teenage life. Sasa, to say Mogati Vijana Karibu Tairiwa, when I sang you come a Haliflan, so when I was here in the same panel, I was there. So Vijana and Uliswa, Mambo Gamayo, Kosabu, last Moguna Mambo Vijana and Pitia. So last ma wa uliswe yu mambo yote file uyu mse amesema. Kama amefanya tambi, unuwechua kijana wako na mambo mingi. So kijana akisi ya sema mambo yake yote, sasa anasamehewa. Anasamehewa. 
na anaambiwa sasa hiyo mambo ikome kutoka hapa kwa sababu sasa una unaenda kupatilika so hiyo kulikuwa na hiyo hiyo laana na kama kijana akikataa kuta usema yale yameuliswa agi 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 agificha kasi yake haitakuwa nzuri ataumia sana hata anaweza kuwa mkonjo mpaka anakufa akiwa huko huko lakini akisha reveal hiyo confess jamaa pona anaendelea vizuri kasi yake anakwisha during the circumcision ceremony or tungkukwa in tugen dialect only boys from one age set are allowed to undergo the cut during the exercise mterenik or special elders selected by the community to perform the ritual take vows of secrecy to keep all that is pronounced under the shades to themselves katika mila ya tugen kuna sehemu airuhusiwi kukutachwa au kukuswa ndio mimi sitaki ni la sababu nimepatiwa la tumekula muma it is time to see the real facts that has led to the Tugen culture conservation all these decades and as you know we are in Kamgoin forest where I'm taken to the real site where circumcision is done and the policy is no lead allowed in this zone is a taboo and a fine is paid heavily during the 6 months stay in the forest the candidates undergo special training under strict supervision of the mutrenik wakati wakiwa hapa pia wale mutrenik wako na kazi ya kufanya kazi yao ni kufunza hawa training wakielezea matakwa ya yale mambo wanatarajia kufanya wakati watakapo fuzu kurudi nyumbani so pamoja na waze na wasio experts wale wana wale wana wanachilikana wana na wale wako na tabia nzuri wanakuja hapa kushauri hawa wanapitia wa, e, hawa mutrenik ala mutrenik na pasha habari kwa wa, wale torushia so kila mtu alikuwa na sehemu yake ya kufanya anon tree in tugen dialect act as a shelter and its fruits as food for the graduates during the training period The graduates or keep clean are now given final blessings by the elders with the hope they will remain pillars of leadership in Tugen community. The graduates are now qualified members of elders council but they still remain under the guidance of their seniors when making marriage decisions. Shart lasima wasasi ya huyo kijana wajue huyo msichana alitoka nyumbakani katika hiyo chami na tukienda tuseme tukienda merkwete au pokot au pengine elgeyo tunaangalia kama kuna ku, ku, kama kama kuna kama kuna mambo mazuri kama tutakosana tukielewana tunaongea tunalipa mahari kulingana na mahali msichana anatoka au anatutawala lakini wakiucha kwetu pia sisi tunatawala hawa kuna mahari tumeweka kiwango fulani na kila kila jamii wako na yao. Eh poko tukienda msichana wa pokot unalipa mpaka ngombe 20 30 na mbuse. Lakini ukikuja sehemu yetu hapa tunapeana na msichana na ngombe ine. Ngombe ni tu pekeaga na wazee walikuwa wakitengeneza pombe kidogo. When one generation gets circumcised it takes 10 years before the other group takes over. Tunapeleka hawa chandoni wakati moja na wan, eh, ya wakati moja na wanakaa karibu miaka miaka kumi au miaka 18 ndio generation nyingine itoke so wale wanatairi ni generation fulani age group fulani na wanaenda alafu group nyingine nakuja na wanaenda motreni is a special group of elderly men selected by the tugen community their aim is to train those who have undergone the circumcision and the policy here is no speaking of the vows taken outside the team as the visitors who have been compelled never to talk about it and never to hear about it koto ne koto me potene anyinwa anyin anyinwa hanyin moengo amboisege kulene kule to me oka ranto kole anyinwa anyin oi oi keep clean all the graduates will now join the moran who are tasked to defend the community at all cost <laughs>
tongue, spears, arrows, and bows remain the treasure tools the Kip Kalalin will have as they join the warrior group in defending the community against the enemy. Isi nesela ile ya inachile inachunga nyumbani. So gila mwanaume agisha toka hapa, awa giwa vijana kama awa, wanakuwa na hii. Hii sasa nesela ile inachunga nyumbani. Alafu hii ingine, hata hii ya. Alafu hii ingine, ni awale warriors tunawafunza. Wagisha toka, kila mutu lasma awa na hii. Kwa sababu utakuwa na hii sela hii, na hii, na hii. So utatumia hii kwanza, hii kimalisika, unajua hii unalenga adui hii ile kwa mbali, hii mshale. Unapika hata hii wa kilomito moja, unapata hii huko. Mshale kiisha, na mekaripia wewe, ya, kanaweka hii mbile, sunawana hii mbile. Na hapa, naona hii ngini hii. Asa hiko mambo mingi, karibu karibu arbaini yao ngapi ndani. So, hiyo ikiisha, anatoa tu pole pole. Eee. Anatoa tu kupitia hiyo. Anatoa na kutuanga, kutuanga. Mishale ikiisha, anashika sasa hii mkuke. Yulia wakati adui imekaribia. Eee. So, sa hiyo, analinga, analinga yule adui, yule amekaribia. Anapika nae. Lakini asa, anatumia sehemu ya mbele hapa. Yeah. Alafu hii ya nyuma hapa ni kumalisia. Hii ni kumalisia lakini hii ni ya kwanza ile natangulia huko. Kwa hivyo hata wakati unaposhika lazima ushike kwa makini. Hii kitu hatari sana. So eh, ina, inafanya kasi mingi. So na wakati adui imekukaribia sana. Hii sasa inafanya kasi. Sasa unatoa sasa hiyo utakuwa umefungia hapa. Unaitoa tu basi unatoa na kunyoroshe hapo. So, hisi ni sila zile vijana walifunswa kutumia wakati wakiwa hapa. Hili akirudi kutunso, kuchunga inji, atakua chintia, atakua chintia kutumia iso fitu. Reporting for Culture Quest, I'm Levis Nsumba.